morning, it's Carrie Ann and I'm back with another small business vlog. Today is Thursday the 12th of January and yesterday evening I managed to finish filming and editing everything for vlog 3. So this should be now vlog or vlog <laughs> 4 and there's lots planned for today and the last few days, working days of the week so I'll have lots to share with you. Uh, it's currently absolutely pouring with rain. So it's highly likely that the shop will be very, very quiet. Yesterday it was so quiet in the shop, which kind of happens in January. January is one of our quieter months. I'm just loading the computer if you can hear lots of movements and sounds. So it does tend to happen in January and I sort of preempt it and expect it, uh, but it was exceptionally quiet yesterday. So it means that I have to then find other ways of supplementing the income to make sure that the shop's earning enough, the business earning enough. So obviously all my businesses come under one limited company, Imagine Design Create Limited, and so it doesn't matter which of the businesses I'm working on, as long as at the end of the day, the company itself is, you know, earning what it needs to earn so that I can then take a salary and I can survive and provide for my family. So what I was doing yesterday was focusing my energies on the art and design by KB side of the business. So I've got lots to share with you on that side of things. I'm not going to do an official launch yet of my new ranges until everything's on the website because I have a habit of getting a few things on there and then just going, oh look, look what's there. But really what I need to do is hold back, get everything loaded up onto both the website in Etsy and in the store packaged up ready to go and then launch it so that everything is there for everyone and then we can do what we call tag up. Sorry, I keep looking that way because the shop is technically open. I have opened the shop. So I keep thinking I hear the door opening, but what it actually is is the sound of cars going past in the pouring rain makes the same sort of whooshy noise as the door opening, which is really strange. Uh, so yes, I. I need to hold back and do proper official launches when everything's ready rather than going, oh look, here's a new design and it's um, it's sort of, it's ready and there's like one item ready and loaded on the website. So I've been doing a lot of website updating. Yesterday, I rebranded the rest of my businesses. So I rebranded Betty's Books and I rebranded Devon Art Supplies in terms of the logo, the fonts, the colors, all of that sort of thing. So I spent the day doing that, which I found really therapeutic. Sometimes it's nice to change things up and give yourself a fresh new look. And I think that's what I needed to make myself a bit more, um, what's the word? To be inspired, to be motivated to, to work on those businesses. By giving them a fresh new look, it felt like they were fresh and new and something interesting for me to then work on. So my time today will be split between um, the three main areas. So for Betty's books, I need to go through and see if there's any ordering that needs to be done um, and make sure that there's nothing else that needs to be loaded onto the website. For Devon Art Supplies, I need to do a stock check and a reorder because there are some items out of stock um, because of website orders and things. So even though the shop has been a bit quiet in the physical shop, the website shop's still been quite busy. So I've been getting all of that sorted. So I need to reorder some items and get that both ordered and then get those loaded onto the website for when they arrive. What else do I need to do? And um, for the Art and Design by KB, I'm waiting on my new packaging and branding products and I'm waiting on new stickers and new pin badges which I'm really excited to share with you and then I will be able to get that all over on the website onto Etsy and do a proper pod product launch probably at the end of January so stay tuned for the end of January where hopefully there will be a big product launch with some new designs and new products from me. And also I want to film today some book flip throughs. So if you look back through my channel, you'll know that I used to do a lot of book flip throughs, reviews and things on art based books. So art and craft books uh, we stock here in the shop. Uh, some that I purchased myself then to keep because I really like them. I will do reviews on them and things like that. And, and sometimes even have a go at the activities in them and have those and film them to show you what sort of things you can do. So I do plan on getting that done today. I edited, as I say, two videos yesterday. So small business vlog three will now have been live and done. So I'm gonna get that 
loaded onto the website in a moment and uh, onto YouTube in a minute. And I also did a separate um, video for you that shows the mistakes I made when ordering my sub sublimation printer. And I, you might have already seen that, that might have already gone live. Um, but yes, that was funny, not. Um, so that will be live now as well. So I'm, by the time you're seeing this, obviously, I've got to go on and get all of that loaded on and everything today too. So yeah, let's get on with the day. Oh, and I think I have got a couple of packages to open with new products and things in. So I'll share that with you if they have arrived um, as well. So let's get on with the day.
morning, it's Friday the 13th of January and I'm in the shop, ready for the day. I have lots planned for the day, although I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to get done because I'm currently in absolute agony. I managed to, you'll probably notice in any videos filmed from, from now on for a little while, I managed to slice my finger quite deeply this morning by accident um, on a mandolin when I was putting the mandolin away, which is really annoying and um, it really hurts. It's pounding and throbbing. It took a long time to stop bleeding, um, but I have bandaged it up as best I can uh, to get me through the day. Um, literally the first job I needed to do, which was getting my phone onto the uh, phone stand that the tripod holder, I usually do with that exact thumb and hand. And um, obviously I couldn't do that this morning. So it took me twice as long to try and do it with the other hand. And it's really, really frustrating, really silly, uh, but it just shows you how much you rely um, on your hands being fully functional and not in pain um, for the day to actually go smoothly. So what have I got planned today? Uh, Friday, that means, oh, I don't actually know. I have got complete mind blank. I've got a, um, let's open this post. I've got some posts from a supplier, which I have actually been waiting on. This is a catalogue for the 2023 range by Styx2. So Styx2 is one of the companies that I use um, in the shop. They do an, a fantastic range of eco-friendly products and they do they, a lot of our adhesives um, here that we stock in the shop, in the art supply shop, Devon Art Supplies. A lot of the adhesives we stock are from Styx2. Um, we also really like their card lengths um, and envelopes and things like that and papers and cards and things. So I need to do a big order from them today uh, for the Devon Art Supplies part of the shop. So that's probably gonna be my first job. Um, it's absolutely freezing. It's not actually, the temperatures are nowhere near. So it's showing us 12 in here at the moment. And the temperatures are technically not as cold as it was when we were sort of minus five not long ago, um, before Christmas, I think. But I'm really feeling the cold and I've had to put the radiator on. I've got like double hoodies, double like polo neck layers and a jumper. And I've got the heater on, blankets. I don't know why I'm feeling the cold so much, but I'm really, really cold right now. And I've just read the, um, like the forecast for the next few days and it says it is going to go back to, into the minus so I'm probably going to be really really cold here in the shop it's such a big open space which is fantastic but it does mean that it gets really really cold because we've obviously got no central heating or anything so we just rely on these push around radiators uh, so yeah I'm really really cold and if you're wondering why I wear like two hoodies and loads and loads of layers it's because it's so cold in the building um, and I seem to be feeling the cold more than usual I don't normally feel it this much um so i'm not sure why i'm suddenly feeling the cold um i'm gonna get on with uh, starting the day i'm gonna make a coffee come and read this catalogue make a list from that particular company that we need to order send that email over and then see what else we need to get going for the day so let's get on with the day
has been a really, really busy day. I'm actually filming this at the end of the day. Okay, normally I do my um, introductions and my sort of talking parts at the beginning of the day, just before I open the shop. But this morning, it, because it's a Saturday, I had my husband come to work with me, which was really nice. And he helped me with lots of jobs around the shop. So he has built me my new under table storage unit, which I will show you. has helped me to put together my mug press heat press uh, which is a connection to the uh, heat press that I already had so when I originally bought it I was only using it for the t-shirt press side of things but it came with all the adaptions for everything else including mugs and things and now that I've got my sublimation printer I'm giving that a try I haven't got the hang quite yet of the colors but the black and white prints are doing okay I've learned that there's different patches around the mug that don't tend to heat quite as well. So I'm learning how to get the best from uh, the press that I've got and the printer that I've got and, and make the designs uh, a certain size so that they um, work with, with the materials that I've got. So fingers crossed, uh, within the next couple of months, I will have nailed it, got my head around it, and I'll be able to then sell my mug designs, which is gonna be exciting because it's something I've always wanted to do. I've had the equipment for well over a year now and I just haven't got my head in the game and got them around to actually designing them, printing them and getting them done. But today was quite fun learning um, how it all works and sort of figuring it all out. So yeah, today was a really good day. Uh, the shop was really busy as well, so I'm really glad that my husband came to work with me. Uh, you'll probably see John featured in some of the videos and um, he's just a massive support. Uh, he's actually the only family member really that does come and work in the shop. Um, I don't have any other family or friend support who come to the shop and help me or anything like that. It's literally just myself, my husband and my children uh, that tend to do sort of helping around the shop. So I had some really cool little draw inserts delivered. Um, so the box looks a bit like this. Um, and it came with these little drawer inserts to go in my new uh, under counter uh, drawer system. And I bought that to go under the table that's going to be where my sewing machine is going to be housed in the art studio. And so there's going to be like the sewing machine one side, the heat press on the other. And then when I need to take the um, heat press connector to the mug press, then obviously I'll just have to take my sewing machine off and put it underneath. Um, and sort of rejig things around but it's going to be really good having a set space for sewing and things like that. I think I'm still going to keep my painting supplies in this main studio area just because then I can paint whilst I'm sort of in the shop as well. Uh, it, it is all changeable though because obviously I change my mind quite regularly so it's all interchangeable. It all depends on how I feel at any given time. Next week I'm going to attack the cupboard of doom. atrocious it is packed full of all sorts of stuff creative stuff that I have just gotten out the way uh, when I moved out of my other craft rooms and art rooms I just literally chucked it all in there because I was not in the right frame of mind to be dealing with um, all of that and so next week I'm definitely going to attack the cupboard of doom as it's Saturday this was my last working day of the week I get Sundays and Mondays off Though Mondays I sometimes do come down into the studio and do sort of things like sewing and bits and pieces like that. Um, well, when I had the studio set up, obviously for the past year it's just been a, an empty sort of graveyard of a studio. Um, but now that things are slowly coming together, I probably will start spending a bit more time in there. And um, maybe on Monday I might even attack or start to attack the cupboard of doom, who knows. But now I'm just going to go and chill out with my husband and my dog. children are away this weekend and so it's going to be a really calm cozy weekend I'm probably going to do some of my um, illustrations uh, and artwork overnight on my iPad but yeah so I would normally say let's get on with the day but as it's the end of the day I'm going to go and chill out um, and I will show you some footage of what's happened through the day. Okay. 